Hey, what's up guys? It's Sensei322. I've got two boxes of SP Authentic 2009. Um, yeah, I know it's stupid. I should just buy singles, but I felt like buying boxes and one of these days I'm going to be that lucky bastard who pulls a Mark Sanchez gold or a logo shield or uh, something nice like that. So it hasn't happened yet. Someday it will, but um, opening the packs is fun. I'm trying to do this straight on the webcam because doing it on the camera is a pain because then you got to transfer it and convert the files and upload it and all this different stuff. I'm trying to save a couple steps uh, and just start video recording with that. So here we go. I'm at 40 seconds already. I think I've only got 10 on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and try to record this. Let's see. Maybe I point that down. There we go. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Wish me luck. My Beckett and YouTube friends, well, Beckett people are friends, YouTube people are strangers that just go on there to look at the cards. Hey, I'm one of you, so it's cool. All right, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see, I'm going to get just the bottom. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, you know, if I go back and buy some cards, I'm going to go and take one away from the bottom and get the next three. And I wonder if that way, if I, because it seems to me like the, Patch Auto is always one of those. So I'm going to open those nine, these nine packs first. Let's see if I scooch this back maybe. There we go. Okay. Seems to me it's always in the bottom. And when I buy packs, I always get them from the top and I never get crap. Case in point, today, I bought those two pack boxes. I also buy, bought six of these packs and uh, got crap. Actually, I think I got a Chris Ogbenaya rookie card auto, but that's it. No Patch Auto. All right, let's see what I got here. Nothing, no bait, no short prints, just singles. I think I'm also going to be doing the short print set. So that would be, uh, gives me a little more reason to justify the two box expenditure. If I tell myself, hey, you know what? You're going for short prints as well. So buy the two boxes and that way you'll be happy even if you get short prints. Didn't get one short print out of those first three packs. That's okay, that's why they call them short prints. Okay, Malcolm Jenkins Auto, first actual quote unquote hit. A Malcolm Jenkins Auto right there. Number two, 999. Put the camera back down. All right, so we got a couple of those. I'm just gonna use those for trade bakes. I'm really not collecting those autos. Nothing there. We are at three minutes on the dot. Oh, sweet! This is a short print. Don't worry, it's not like a spectacular card, but for me, now that I'm collecting these, I just looked up price, and I think this is one of the most valuable ones of the short prints. Chester Taylor, Bernard Barium, and AP. Number 187. All right. Start a little SP stack over there. See? You see that? Now that I told myself I'm collecting the SPs, I get excited even about those. So let's see, what am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. All right. Oh, freaking yes. This is the best XP box ever. This is probably the most valuable of the short prints. Dan Marino, baby. Dan Marino, number 104. He's right over there with, uh, I forgot who the guys around him. I think I've already got Randall Cunningham, a couple other dudes. That's sweet. I'm more excited about those guys than the crap autos. All right, still nothing here. We'll see what I got. Nothing. The short prints. I'm excited about that Dan Marino. Oh, no. I thought for a second this was going to be the patch auto. It is not. Darren McFadden and nothing else. So over the rest of the box, we've got two more autos. And I'll just grab these from wherever because my little theory is completely busted. If this was a Mythbusters or Cardbusters episode, whatever you call it. I was wrong. Okay, here it is. This is going to be the nice patch auto. You can see it's white. White. I'm going to hang on to that one. I'm going to wait for it. Just wait till it's last just because I'm here. You know, I've got, I got some sort of holograph gold holograph on a card in here too so this might have an autograph in it as well Eddie Royal yeah it's probably just gonna be some crap rookie auto I was right crap rookie auto Jarrett Dillard fantastic thanks out of 999 
So there are my, those are my three hits. Technically, you know what? I should just pack up these 20 packs and put them up on eBay because that's what everybody else does. Bastards. Um, I'm not. I'm going to go through them all, but I actually can't wait until this patch. Let's see. Let's see. You guys get, get the excitement with me. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Well, it's, I know it's not a gold. Oh, holy crap. Are you serious? It's... I've already got... I just pulled one the other day. I just got another one here. It's not a gold. It's a Stephen McGee. I can't believe this. Oh! Holy shit! Uh, alright, 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 alright. So let me explain something. Let me explain something right here. Um, I was just about to, to complain because the other day at the card shop I pulled one. A week before I pulled one at the card shop, a four color Stephen McGee patch auto. I bought one on eBay that's four colors. Then the other day I just spent 60 bucks I think and bought a gold Stephen McGee patch auto. And today I was telling myself, well you know what, the reason I bought these boxes is because I said, well I could still get a gold auto or I could get one of those limiteds that are hand numbered out of five. You guys just saw me pull a Stephen McGee hand numbered five out of five, baby! Woo! Limited, whatever it's called, dude. This is sick. This is nasty. This is the best card I've ever pulled, and I don't care what comes out of the next box. Stephen McGee, baby, you just did me good. Five out of five hand numbered. This is what's called a limited. All you guys that like the gold, I've got one of the gold. This is so much better than the gold. I am sick excited. I thought it looked a little bluish. I was just thinking it must be silver, not wasn't the gold. <laughs> oh, snap, crackle, pop. That is just, oh, I'm so excited. I actually pulled one. I'm so glad I bought the box. All right. And then, like, what do I do with these? I don't care. Can't get any better than that. I don't, I don't even know what I do. Maybe I give these out to people I trade with on Beckett. Okay. I am already running out of time. I'm already at the 7 minute 30 second mark. So let's just see what else I got. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Cannot believe it. Lil Baylor, come over here. Can you believe it? All right, nothing over here. Nothing over here. Dude, I'm so sickeningly excited about that one. Let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, wow, this is real nice. Chip Vaughn. He's a safety for the Saints. Bronze rookie, number to 150. So that is ex extremely exciting also. Hey, how about that? Ted Ginn Jr. Ted Ginn Jr. is now a 49er. Lots of crazy trades been going on recently. Stephen McGee. Now, reason I'm excited about Stephen McGee. I was thinking about it. What makes for a good quarterback? It doesn't it doesn't usually occur when a player is drafted on a really crappy team in the first or second pick. You know, it's I call it the Joey Harrington syndrome. They get there, they're on a horrible team, they don't have a chance to shine, they get pummeled every chance they get, they end up being nothing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen with Stafford. Sanchez went on a good team, so he's got a good chance. But the best quarterbacks, the Steve Youngs, you know, etc., they, the Hall of Famers, usually end up being a backup of a good quarterback for a year or two. And then they end up taking over a good team when that guy moves, gets traded, you know, whatever. Stephen McGee is on a good team, the Cowboys, and he's a backup to Tony Robo. So one of these years, he's got some good experience. He didn't play last year. He comes out there. He's got a chance to be great. And this is a one, two, three, four. You know, it's technically only three colors because that inside part, that's a different card. That's jersey. Then you've got the stitching, heavy-duty stitching, white, white, and the dark blue. Five out of five. And numbered. Anyway, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Not going to get a chance to go over these three, six, nine, ten packs because I'm already at 930, but who cares? Thanks for watching again. Oh, and huge shout-out to Orlando Sports Cards where I get all my cards and where everybody hits nasty stuff. And it, I used to say except me, but this time I did it. So thanks, Orlando Sports Cards. Kendall, you're the best. And shout out to all my friends at Beckett. Peace.